Using a food scale, I'm gonna show you how to get a serving size of lean turkey. I'm gonna show you your calorie information, your macros, so stay tuned. I'm watching. What you gotta do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is 1-800-273-8255. So first off, if you're serious about your health, you're serious about losing weight, losing fat. You want to start watching your diet. You want to know the ins and outs to your diet. I highly recommend you start tracking your portion size. You want to know your portions. You want to know what enters your body all the time. So if you know what enters your body, you can more control your weight. So that's the point of watching your diet, using a food skill. And of course, if you want a food scale, I recommend a food scale from Amazon. I got links in my description box below if you want to start tracking your portion size so you can get healthier. Now, it's important that you track your diet for many reasons. One of the most important reasons is that you know exactly what's going on in your body. You, know, you can determine the calorie information, salt intake, the sugar intake, the cholesterol intake, all from weighing out your food using a food scale. In this video, I'm using the Genio Ground Turkey Breast brand. So I'm using this because it's a lean meat and I'm tired of chicken. And if you flip the container to the back, you can see the nutrition facts label and it gives you all the information I just went over like your sodium, your cholesterol intake, your fat, your protein, your macros, your sugar intake and everything. So you know exactly what you're eating. All you have to do is get the meat out of the package, get you a container to weigh the meat on the food scale, and just hit the tear button and you get your weight in grams. Now when you cooking the meat, you're gonna have a significant drop in weight. My turkey is not gonna weigh as much as it did before I cooked. So when I put it on the scale, it's gonna be significantly lesser in weight. Using an air fryer, I can get that excess oil and grease out so the meat. You remember, we started off with around 449 grams of turkey. And now since we cooked the meat, since we air fried the meat, it has been reduced to around 347 grams of meat. We just cooked the whole package. There's four servings per package. After we cooked this meat, the meat reduced in size and weight. The new weight is now 347. Now you take 347 and you divide it by four, and you get your serving size. And the serving size is 86.75 grams per serving. This is four servings right here. You cut it up into four pieces, you're gonna get 86.75 per piece. Since we know the serving size, I can tell you how much protein, how many calories you get in each and every serving, how much sodium you get, and potentially how much sugar, but there's no sugar in this, so. You don't have to worry about it. That's why the nutrition facts label is so important because it's so much information on it and it can help you with your dieting process. Now, I'm gonna, let me cut this up and, and try to get that portion size. Another question you might have is to whether you should weigh your meat before you cook it or after you cook it. And bodybuilding, and when you're trying to take control of your weight, you wanna weigh your meat after you cook it always weigh your food after you cook it. That's how you track your food, your intake after you cook. Here's what one serving look like. Actually, this is one gram above one serving. We were aiming for 87 grams, but we got one gram over the serving size, which is 87. And it won't kill you to be a gram or two overweight. So, I want to do two servings of this ground turkey breast. We already figured out the serving size. I need two 86.75 portions. Let's just round it up. 87 plus 87 is 174. So I need 174 grams of lean turkey breast. Or if you don't want to do math, if you don't even want to weigh it in, just cut that portion, the whole portion that we just cooked in half, and that's a rough estimate of how much 
I'm gonna use. But I, I've weighed my portion sizes out and I'm gonna get two 120 calories serving portion. 120 plus 120 is 240. It's simple. It's gonna cost me 240 calories to eat two serving sizes. It's lean turkey breast. It's that simple. For those of you that don't know, turkey is a lean protein source. I'm been tired of eating chicken, so I'm switching it up and I'm putting turkey in my diet. But it's fairly lean. It's a good protein source. That's why I'm using turkey. I always tell you how you want fruits and vegetables to be in majority of your diet. And as you can see, vegetables take up a large portion of this pan. So I want to flush my body out with fruits and vegetables. You know, uh, with my battles with lupus, you can only imagine that this only helps. It helps with my fat loss. It helps you get lean. My calories are low. I don't have to wonder about what I'm gonna eat. You cover so many bases by eating like this. And you really don't have to count calories. I was just showing you the calorie information for the turkey, but you really don't have to count the calories. You're eating so many vegetables right here. As I edit this video, I noticed that I left a lot of things out. You don't have to weigh your vegetables because they lack calories. Vegetables in general lack calories. You won't get fat when you eat vegetables. You have to consume more than, than you understand to get fat eating vegetables. And vegetables don't have those addictive properties that make you keep coming back to it and eating it. So you get satisfied a lot quicker eating vegetables. You can go to town eating vegetables. Now the meat, the protein, you will put on fat when you eat too much meat, too much protein. So I recommend weighing meat out. If you eat by the serving size, that would kind of guarantee that you don't put on weight. If you look at the container and you eat by the serving size, in this case, you want 87 grams. You can even do two servings, especially if your calories are low. Putting this in context, if you eat, ate all throughout the day and if you ate a lot of calories throughout the day, I recommend not doing any serving size. If you're following a meal plan or something and you need calories for the day, you could probably do three servings. It all depends. It's context to this, this situation. But in general, you want to have vegetables in your diet and you don't have to weigh vegetables because they lack calories. So I just showed you a way you can keep your calories low using turkey. As I said in the video, I use vegetables a lot. You want vegetables to take up majority of your diet. I would say you want like 60, 70, even upwards of 80% of your diet to be vegetables. Vegetables heal you and especially having an autoimmune condition disease like myself, you want stuff working for you. Food is medicine for the body. You want your food helping you through life as hard as lupus is for me. My diet has to be in check and what better way to do this? So I practice keeping my calories low. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing I just made. I'm, I, I eat like half of that at one time and then I'll go to the gym and train. And then when I get back, that's my post-workout meal. It's a lot of food, it's healthy for you. As we age, you're supposed to eat less. It's healthier practices, I'm sure to help. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from Justin Parks, I have a Facebook group called Justin Parks training. A lot of fitness tips shared personally by me. And if you in, in the market for fat loss, if you want to put on muscle, if you want a, a community of people that with the same goals as you, you got one online. Check me out on Facebook. Remember, your health is an investment that will pay off in the long term. Invest in yourself. Health is wealth. It's Justin Parks. Thanks for watching.